Okay guys, recap of this week. We are about ready to close out the guard chapter and we did a little bit of half guard before going into side mount. So let's talk about half guard. Lay down please. So, the half guard position. And there are, there are a number of types of half guard. One that you have to watch out for very, very uh, closely, especially when it's rolling and no strikes are allowed, is when they come in for that deep half guard and get underneath. You're very sweepable and they have a lot of stuff from here. So as just a general principle from half guard, this cross face and underhook really does a good job of stopping the half guard players early before they get underneath you and start to lose your balance. Now let's talk about passing. Let's advance our position from guard to, or sorry, half guard to either side mount or mount, okay? So from the half guard, one of the first kind of internal battles that people who don't know jujitsu um, don't really recognize is this battle for the far side underhook. Generally speaking, because gravity is on my team when I'm on top, I have the advantage for achieving this underhook. Once I achieve the underhook, there are a number of passes, but one that I think every jujitsu student should know is to get that knee up, tripod up, slice through into a side mount position. So it's kind of a tripod into a little bit of a knee slice. Now, sometimes, by the way, side note, if his legs are over my knee, I'm not ready for that type of pass. I want to get to a position where his legs are below the knee. Now, as I get the underhook, I tripod up, good base, and I slide. Sometimes the opponent will squeeze the legs here. At that point, this leg can act as a wedge to kick through and come through for that pass. So that was one of those passes we worked. Now, let's talk about if you don't get the underhook. They are just solid. Um, they come through, they get the underhook. Now, there's a number of dangers from here, but none the least of which is the fact that he has access to quick start to take it back, to take it back. Right, so a lot of people, they do a good job of getting the underhook, they'll do this overhook wizard, which is cool, and then you can start working things from there. However, if they get the underhook here, you also have the option of stepping all the way back and starting to work passes by sitting back. So the half guard pass when they have the underhook is more of a sitting back pass then a tripod and slice it. Let me do that one more time. So from here, we come up. He's got the underhook. Look, I'm gonna come up, sit back. I wanna grab this leg. Now here's the cool thing. If he wants to bridge me back this way, he really has to open his leg, which gives me the opening I need to create the pass. There's more things we went into, freeing the uh, foot from quarter guard, stuff like that, but you're gonna have to watch another video later to get that. What do you think of these techniques this week? I just like having an option from whether I have the underhook or if they have the underhook. Going back and forth between the two is always nice. Options are good, and we have tons of them in jiu-jitsu. All oh, the music stop at the perfect time. Come train with us, Total Martial Arts Center in Olathe, later.